Hello guys, today I am here with a new video. I will explain my final year project proposal presentation which is based on smart irrigation or uh, Ardiano based automatic watering of plants and agriculture. Before starting the video, I request it to all of you that if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then kindly subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. So guys, let's move toward the presentation. Here is my final year project uh, proposal presentation. I will explain each content. So watch the video till the end. Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of God, the most gracious and the most merciful. Our uh, uh, final year project uh, is uh, Ardiano based automatic watering of plants and agriculture. In the first slide, you have to write your group members and supervisor name. Then we have a table of content. Uh, uh, in this presentation, we will cover these topics. First, we have introduction. Then we have problem statement. Third one, we have objectives. Fourth, methodology. Fifth, utilization or uses. And the sixth word, preliminary results and tentative time span. These are the table of contents which we will cover in this presentation. First of all, we have introduction. <coughs> In the introduction, I have explained briefly the uh, my projects. So uh, you people don't need to explain these things. You have to write just in bullet form and to explain these things in oral. So guys, uh, uh, here I have written that uh, agriculture is very important for life. So it also depends on the economy of the country. As the world is going toward technology and everything can now be controlled by without any human interface. When we focus on the agriculture system, the farmer face difficulties in maintaining the crops. There may be different reasons of becoming damage of crops. One of the issues is the scarcity of water. Due to the improper irrigation system, the crops get damaged and result uh, in the decrease of productivity. The implementation of new technology in irrigation system is our basic aim. That's why we selected the project Ardiano based automatic watering of plants and crops. The main components in our projects are sensor, Ardiano and uh, Wi-Fi module. Sensor detect the status of soil, inform the users to give water to the crops. Ardiano is programmed by Ardiano IDE software and it's control the motor. Wi-Fi module is used Wi-Fi module is used to connect the project with the mobile. So this was the introduction of our project. Now we have problem statement. In the problem statement, first one we have as the population is increases day by day, so the requirement of human being also increases result in shortage of sources. The second one we have the economy of the country depends on agriculture. Pakistan is an agricultural country and most occupation of people is agriculture. Third problem statement we have many plants became damaged due to the improper irrigation system. Fourth one farmers are multitaskers. They perform different activities at the same time. When they give water to the crops, most of them forget to turn off the motor. The fifth problem statement we have, as a result water rushes out the fertilizer and soil. The product decreases due to this reason. Sixth one we have, there also wastage of water, electricity, fertilizer, etc. The farmer face many difficulties. The seventh one we have, during shortage of water, it is challenge for farmers to maintain their field and manage watering of plants. And the last one, which is eight, in uh, this problem statements we have, during day-to-day -day activities, many people forget to water their plants, thus it's become challenging to maintain their plants healthy and alive. So this was the problem statement of uh, my project. In the next slides, uh, we have objectives. Uh, what is the objective of my 
um, project so i will explain now the objectives of my um, presentation are my projects first one we have the main objective of our project is to reduce the cost of the labor as by implementing this system in irrigation system there will be no need of extra labor if the owner of the field uh, wants to give water to the crop then he can give it by own self by just simply installation this mechanism in the irrigation system so uh, this reduces the cost cost of the labor as it's automatically turn off the motor when there will be a uh, uh, when there will be need of water in the field and uh, it will automatically turn off when the um, when the water level in the field will be fulfilled so this was our uh, the main objective the next we have saving time is the major purpose of this project saving time as uh, there is a group pro proverb that time is money so uh, the main objective of our this project is also a uh, saving times uh, when someone gives waters to the crops they have to wait till the water level complete uh, so by installing this mechanism they don't have to wait it's uh, this system will automatically detect uh, when to give waters to the crop and uh, it will automatically turn off the motors uh, uh, when the water level uh, will be fulfilled in the field so this uh, 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 this is the main purpose of our uh, project next one we have to save the plants from being damaged <coughs> The third objective of our project is to save the plants from being damaged. As many plants became damaged uh, uh, due to the improper irrigation system, uh, farmers don't have a knowledge when to give waters to the crop. So the many plants became damaged due to this reasons. So this mechanism also save the plants from being damaged. Next one we have to reduce the wastage of water. In traditional irrigation system more of the water and electricity become waste so this system will also reduce the wastage of water level in irrigation system and the fifth objective of uh, my project is to increase the productivity of crops <clears throat> if there will be a good irrigation system so the uh, productivity of crops will be automatically increased so this project will help to increase the productivity of crops so guys uh, this uh, was the main objective of our project in the next slides so we have methodology in the methodology we have some points i will explain each and every point the basic building blocks of an IoT system are sensor, processor, and application. Here in our project, we will use Arduino. The sensor will interface with the Arduino. Arduino is powered up with power supply. As you can see in the diagram, that uh, Arduino is powered by power supply and the sensor, soil moisture sensor, which is connected to the Arduino. In the next slides, we have the sensor are connected with Arduino as input and water pump as output as you can see in the figure LCD is used to display the data sent by the sensor Wi-Fi module is used for wireless communication with Arduino mobile app is used to read the data sent by the Arduino it alerts the farmer from the present condition of water level so the farmer can take action to fulfill the requirement of water in the next slides we have flowchart in the flowchart from the start <coughs> there uh, we have a soil moisture sensor it will detect the moisture level in the field so here we have a condition if x is equal to y x is less than y x is greater than y x is the moisture level of soil and y is the threshold value which we will give by programming so here if the moisture level of soil is uh, less than to the uh, threshold value then the motor will be start and initialize watering to the 
plants and after that it will send report to the user if the value of uh, uh, soil moisture level will be greater than the threshold value then it's also send report to the user that now you have to turn off the motor as the water level in the field is uh, complete so at the last we have the motor will be stopped so this was uh, our flow chart in the next slides we have block diagram in the block diagram uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have a Arduino in our project Arduino is a brand and other components which is connected to Arduino we have uh, in, in this project we have LCD display which is used to, dis to display the message and uh, uh, another we have Wi-Fi module which is used for wireless communications and third one uh, mobile uh, the data sent by the system to the farmers in the mobile so a uh, soil moisture will sense the moisture level of the soil or the field and the motor is connected with a power supply so this was the uh, block diagram of our projects in the next slides all components together in the all components together you can see that here is the Arduino which is brand of our projects and uh, a solar is connected to the motor motor is uh, giving waters to the plants and the um, soil moisture sensor is also connected uh, with the flowers which detect the uh, status level of soil and then it's also connected uh, to the Arduino then we have a, a Wi-Fi module which is connected to the Arduino and uh, these data are sent to, uh, to the farmers in their mobile phone so uh, the farmers can read the data in mobile phone so this was the all components together in our project in the next slides we have utilization or uses uh, what is the uses and the utilization of our project so first use of our project is uh, this could be used in indoor agriculture and for vertical one this system uh, also used in every kind of agriculture just like in indoor agriculture and for vertical one the next use of uh, our project is this mechanism used in all kind of agriculture and plants third one we have for automatic watering of plants when someone is not present there fourth one to measure the soil moisture and to detect the scarcity of water the fifth one this type of mechanism also used to report activities to the users therefore the application of this method is multiple so this was uh, the utilization or uh, uses of our projects so in the next slides uh, we have preliminary results uh, if you have concluded any result then you have to display the result in this slides uh, we have not concluded any result yet so we are still working on data collection I have written this uh, if you have any result uh, or conclusion you can write this uh, into this slides next one we have tentative time span in the tentative time spans uh, you have to divide your project into different uh, uh, into different times uh, let's suppose uh, proposal when you have to complete proposal expected time and uh, expected and uh, in the proposal seven days uh, i have written here seven days or uh, uh, then after we have literature review 10 days simulation 15 days collect materials 10 days experimental work 13 days conclusion and discussion 8 days this is 18 days so this was uh, the tentative time span of our project and at the last thank you for listening to me if you have any question you may ask so guys uh, uh, this was uh, uh, my final year project Arduino based automatic watering of plants and agriculture mm, if you have liked my video then kindly don't forget to subscribe my channels and uh, press the bell icon so that my every video you can watch thank you all of you for listening and watching to me